WRRS. WRRS, bring you the latest intermediate school news. Hello Intermediate School and I want to welcome you to here to channel WRS on March 26, 2021. On our new Friday New Day Fridays, I'm Layla. This station prides itself with bringing you the latest intermediate school news. In 1953, Dr. Jonas E. Salk announced a vaccine had been used safely and successfully as polio vaccine. Two years later, the vaccine was released and given to every child in the United States. Pol polio was once a, Ill a dreaded illness that killed or paralyzed thousands. It is almost non-existent today. Here is a challenge for you. Early in the vaccine history, it was given at school. You would line up and a nurse would put the vaccine in your mouth. See how many adult adults in the school had the polio vaccine. It is also National Epilepsy Awareness Day. Epilepsy is a neurological condition impacts the central nervous system, causing seizures and other symptoms. And National Spinach Day. We have been together for one week. It sure has been nice. Mr. Gaffney and Miss Smith one have something they want to tell us. Hello, Intermediate School. Mr. Gaffney and Mrs. Smith here, still socially distanced. We're here to give another big welcome to all of our students returning to five days a week. It is so terrific to see and hear the halls and classrooms come alive with more students here. Remember to continue following social distancing and mask wearing so we continue to stay open and finish the 2020-21 school year strong. Remember to be Red, Red Raiders, Raiders strong! strong. Here are some pictures from Green Day. pajama day next week. Let's find out who this week's student of the week are. Congratulations. It's the library. It's library time with Miss Han. Hello, boys and girls. Today is March 24th, 2021. I hope you're all doing well. Um, if you're wondering why you haven't seen me lately in the building, it's because I recently had a baby boy and I'm still at home taking care of him. So if that, if you're wondering, hmm, where's Mrs. Han been lately? It's because I had my baby. Okay. Last week's emoji story title answer was one fish two fish, red fish, blue fish. Okay, here's a quick shot at next week's emoji story title. Remember, this week and next week we'll be wrapping up our month of Dr. Seuss emoji story titles. So this too is an emoji story title that was written, the book was written by Dr. Seuss. Okay, this one's kind of tricky but kind of obvious at the same time. So make sure if you think you know the answer, email me at jordan dot han at hornlcsd.org and actually we're very close um, so many people have been participating I think next week we could have lots and lots of winners for five or more story titles answered correctly so great job and just really quickly before I jump off I want to share an interesting fun fact about reading with all of you um, believe it or not it's been a year since all of the crazy COVID stuff has come out and we've been living through a pandemic for an entire year now so 
if you think back on the year, it maybe has been a little bit stressful or a little bit overwhelming, whether or not for you, but for your family or the adults in your lives. But in some way, shape or form, we've all been affected by COVID, right? So one fun reading fact that has been proven is reading for just six minutes a day reduces stress by 68%. So if you just sit down and read for six minutes, it can, and it can lower your stress level. And I don't mean like reading for school or reading because you have an assignment that's due. I mean like reading because you really love the book that is in your hands or that's on your screen. So just six minutes a day can reduce your stress by 68%. So if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Um, I miss you all. I hope you're happy and healthy and I will see you soon. Let's find out from Miss Johnner who won this month's book box. Good morning boys and girls. I just wanted to remind you of last month's book box winners was Ethan Dieter, Brian Neff, Evelyn Stryker, and Mrs. Ziggenfuss. And this month's book box winners are for fourth grade, Sydney Crow. Let's see who fifth grade. Fifth grade is Ashley Voss. Sixth grade is Michaela Cullen. And let's pick out the teacher staff, and it is Mrs. Kiefer. Have you checked out a book lately? It's time for counselor chat. Hey guys, it's Mrs. Bailey back for another counselor's chat. I'm so excited that we're all back in the school. Welcome back, everybody. I've missed seeing your faces in the hallways every single day. I cannot believe it's been a year since we've been back full time. I'm just so excited to see everybody in the halls, in the classrooms. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone back in my classroom. It's been so long, but I seriously can't wait. I've missed you all so much. I think we're gonna have a wonderful rest of the school year. Remember to be safe still, wash your hands, wear a mask. If you ever have any questions or you need help with anything ever, come see me or Mrs. McEnany. Our doors are always open. We're always here for you. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate. You can email us, you can put a note in our mailbox or just stop down. I love you all and I'm so excited to have you back, yay! Now it's time to find who the next person is to get a pie in the face for good attendance. Hi guys, I'm here in front of the kind sign, but I have a special announcement. We have the winner of our next pie in the face, and the winner is our assistant principal, Mrs. Smith. Keep putting those votes in. Next WRS, we will see the face pie smash. Keep watching for those pop-up votes. Who knows where you find, will find them. So keep watching, but make sure when you find one, you vote. It's time to be a super reader. You could be a super reader just like me. When you are reading a book, you need to think about what you've read and make sure that you're storing it in your mind so you can use that information afterwards. Sometimes when you're reading for a class, you're asked to give a summary afterwards. You might be asked the question, will you please summarize the important information on, in the text? Or you might be asked, will you please summarize the important events in the story? Now the different questions are because you might be reading an informational text in which case you're summarizing the important information, or you might be reading a narrative text, which is a storytelling style, and that means you'd be summarizing the important events in the story. Either way, you're being asked for a summary. How do we do a summary? One of the ways you can start is by just giving a sentence that tells what the book's about. What's the topic of the book? That's a great way to start your summary. If it's a story that you're summarizing, if it's a narrative text, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, if it's told as a story, you want to make sure that you include in your summary 
who the main characters are and what it is that's important to know about them. And you want to give the events of the story in the order that they happened in the book. If you tell a story out of order because you've forgotten something, it's okay, but just mention, oops, I forgot to say this earlier, and then add that detail. But if you can, do the story in order. When you're summarizing an informational text, Again, if you can give the information in the order it came in the text, that's better. But the important thing here is deciding what's really important. What do I share? What can I leave out? And that's something that you have to use your judgment to determine. If there's something that there was a whole section of the book written about, it was probably really important. If there's just one sentence about it, it might not be as important. And maybe that's a detail that you don't have to include in your summary. The most important thing I'm looking for in a summary is that I would know what the book was about even if I hadn't read it. So let's say we're standing outside class and we're getting, to walk in, getting ready to walk in and I say to you, hey, I forgot to read that book last night Will you please tell me everything I need to know in case the teacher asks me a question? Tell me all the things I would need to know and then you'll know that you've done a good job summarizing it. If in your summary you get to the end and realize you've left something out, make sure you go back and throw it in. When you're done with your summary, you're probably going to be asked, is there anything else you'd like to add? If you feel like you got all the information, even if we ask you if there's something else you want to add, you can say, nope, I think I got everything. Or that's your chance to add in one or two more details that you think might be important. That's what we're looking for when you give us a summary of the text. You don't have to include every single detail, but you do want to include enough so that if someone hadn't read it, they would know what the book was about. Remember to be a super reader. Have a great day. Thanks, Ms. Monison. This brings an end to our broadcast today. Remember to keep those masks on when you are supposed to. Wash your hands, do the vampire cough and sneeze, and be respectful of others. Okay, say it with me. We are respectful, we are responsible, we are safe. We are Red Raider strong.